Hey guys, so several weeks back, I showed you the unboxing and the first impression video on the uh, the fellow Stag EKG um, pour over kettle. Well, actually that video ended up to be a lot longer than I anticipated and I actually went through the entire process of making the coffee with it. So if you haven't watched that video already or if you want a in-depth look on how it's like to make a coffee, uh, to actually boil water for a pour over with this kettle, I'll leave the link right here. Uh, for you guys to check it out and as well as on the description down below But today I want to give you guys a quick follow-up video to that to tell you guys a couple of things I guess that I noticed with this scale a couple of good a couple of areas for improvements. All right, let's get this video started As usual, I'll give you a rundown of the good and the not so great. First of all, this kettle looks great. I mentioned it last time on the video and I would like to reiterate that, you know, a couple of my friends that came over all commented on how great this kettle looks and it does look great at that. Number two, it heats up really fast. It consistently heats up the water quite a lot faster than actually the time it takes for me to manually grind my coffee and set up everything. So I normally don't even start boiling the water until I am pretty much done preparing the coffee grounds and stuff like that. Number three, this pours very, very smoothly. I mentioned that on my first impression video, but this one continues to pour very, very smoothly for me. It's a lot easier for me to control the flow of the water when you're making uh, pour overs. Fourth point here is that this kettle have a nice counterweight on it. The kettle is actually quite a lot heavier than some of your other electric kettles. And the way that the handle is designed for when you pour, uh, once this have actually, you know, obviously when they have water in it, when you pour, it creates a nice counterweight. You don't really feel that you're fighting against, I guess, the weight of the kettle, try to keep the, the, the pour smooth and consistent. It kind of just hangs in your hand in that natural position where it's, you know, the, the smoothest. So I, I, I find that to be very, very nice to have in a kettle like this. The temperature holding function turns out to be super, super useful. Doesn't matter if we're having tea in this house or making pour overs. The simple fact that when I set down the kettle back on the stand, it will reheat the water back to my desired temperature. It's just a very convenient function to have. Okay, so a couple of things uh, that are, I guess, on my not so great list. First one, this one is kind of a big one. This metal piece right here, it actually is situated very close to your index finger as well as your thumb when you are just pouring coffee. And this metal piece gets hot it gets actually very hot. There's a couple of times um, when, I, when I'm pouring it and I'll just reach my thumb over by like, I guess like not even half an inch and I'll get burned by this. I haven't had any damage on my, on my finger or anything like that, but it's definitely a lot hotter than you would expect for something that's this close to, the, um, to your thumb. The next thing is what I mentioned last time regarding the plastic switch on the back here, the hold as well as the Celsius and Fahrenheit toggle. It's very loose. Uh, I mentioned that on the first impressions video. However, this is one of those things that you set it and you kind of just forget it. So it ended up not bothering me as much, but I do want to mention that as, again, as something that's in this price range, I, I did expect them to have a more solid toggle. Okay, so the next item is something that I mentioned on the, the first impression video. This cord is still a little short for my preference. If it were to have something like a retractable cord system, it would have been nice, but I guess having a retractable cord would have also made the stand a lot thicker. So I guess that that's why they didn't want to put one in. But this the short cord does limit on where you actually place this unit. Lastly, I wish this kettle actually would have a memory function where you will remember the last temperature I set the kettle at. Because every time I turn this kettle off, when I turn it back on, it would be back at its maximum temperature. There are times when I actually forgot to I guess set it. I just turn it back on because I'm making this. I'm making very similar um, drinks every day. So I just turn it on, expecting it to be where I said it last time. And then it will actually boil water uh, at a higher temperature than what I intended. You know, if you guys remember to set it every single time, that's great, it could be just me. But I just wish that, you know, it would actually have a memory function where it will save the last temperature that you set it at. So after three weeks of making daily coffee as well as various drinks for my family, I think this is a great kettle to have. If you are looking to upgrade your current kettle or if you have the budget to, to just right off the bat start off with a good um, electric kettle, I think this is a great option. The function to precisely pick the temperature that you need 
for coffee as well as different tea leaves is also something that's very convenient to have. Uh, for me, it's definitely something that I didn't know I needed until I actually started using this kettle. The fact that it looks great on the countertop is a it, it's just an added bonus at this point. There is actually something that I did forgot to kind of touch upon when I was talking about the, the good about this kettle. The way that the kettle, the interior of the kettle is, is designed, there is a recess uh, ring around the um, the edge of the container. Now what that ring actually do is allows all the water to be poured out of the kettle cleanly. That's actually something that I, that I did appreciate once I started using this because it's one of those things that you kind of, I guess, don't really pay attention to. But with my previous kettles, sometimes when you, it's kind of hard to get that last couple of drops of water out. And this actually just kind of saves you some, some, some time of, of having to wiggle around and try to get that last bit of water. It's one of those attention to detail things that you get with something of this quality. All right, so I hope this video helped you answer some questions regarding the Velo EKG or if you are on the fence about getting it, it hopefully it will help you answer some of your concerns. As always, uh, please leave a like on this video and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave any questions or concerns on the comment section right down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!